Meet Elvis. Not that Elvis, although he might have a role to play in this story too. Our Elvis lives in Albania. He's Roma. He's eight years old. He collects and recycles garbage with his family and begs on the streets. He has a strong, scary cough, like many other Roma children in Albania, where tuberculosis is a serious threat. Living without documentation, bathing in filthy water, sleeping in crowded shacks, growing up amongst alcoholism, eating from de- garbage bins, born from brokenness and despair, and headed for prostitution and drugs. Elvis can legitimately sing, Don't be cruel to the world. The cycle of poverty is well established. The most vulnerable children will grow up and produce children even more vulnerable than themselves. It's a no-brainer. The problem for Elvis is that he alone cannot raise his voice loud enough to complain or seek help. Like Elvis, Elvis's dad is also sidelined from having a voice. Reading, writing, speech, confidence, knowledge. The most vulnerable children cannot access the classroom to gain these skills that are necessary for them to complain, show distaste or exuberance for government action later in life. It's because vulnerable children are excluded from the very platform that can disrupt the cycle of poverty, school. So, Elvis is stuck. Like other Roma children, children with disabilities, children crushed by labour, children raised in orphanages, children trafficked and exploited, children living on the street. Elvis and children like him need fans, who together can make their voices heard by politicians. Educated fans that can easily reach out to their governments. Fans that believe children should be protected from harm and begin life with the right supports. You can be one of them. Tell them you care. Sign Child Pact's petition to support our effort to encourage government action and innovation through greater regional cooperation for child protection. With so many similar problems in the region, we should be learning from each other's past experiences to save precious time and resources and speed up the process of reform. Don't let Elvis grow up in a ghetto. It's now or never for Elvis.